Binance is the really the one causing all the problems. So what stock dropped 93%? It's not a bank stock, believe it or not. Um, and this is Better Home and Finance Holding or Better.O. Better.O. I tell you what. Um, it is a, let's see, online mortgage lender since Shockwaves when it dropped 93%, making altcoins even seem like a better bet. Very interesting. We're seeing a fundamental shift in the world of investing. <clears throat> what we're seeing is, is that crypto is seen to be risky. A lot of people thought crypto is way riskier than the stock market. And yes, it's kind of proven to be true over the short term over the last 10 to 12 years. Uh, however, you're starting to see this, the cracks in the stock market. And you're starting to see that the riskiness of crypto to people, people are starting to think about it a lot more in terms of the upside potential, not the downside potential. And they're willing to take riskier bets to change their lives because the economy is so bad and the stock market is so bad and the inflation is so bad. And so you're seeing the cracks in the stock. People are losing faith in the status quo of the stock market. And they're also at the same time becoming more comfortable with risk on assets like crypto. It's like a meeting in the middle almost. One day crypto won't be as explosive as it is now. This is one of the opportunities here now for you. Um, so there you go. All right, so moving on here. Prime Trust admits to losing $8 million invested in the Terra ecosystem. And let me tell you, this is interesting because our guy, Corey Clipson, Swan Bitcoin, this is who he was using to hold all your Bitcoin. The same people that lost $8 million in Terra. Guys, Bitcoin is self-sovereign. Bitcoin is about owning it and about custody and about digital real estate. It's about that. However, you have some of these Bitcoin maximalists that have discovered ways that they can make money and sell lies to you, to the true Bitcoiner. They can sell lies to you and you'll believe it because you trust them because they're a fellow Bitcoin maxi. And that's the Corey Clipson story of Swan Bitcoin. Guys, he's blaming Alex Wyshynski, blaming FTX, blaming CZ saying this is the problem in crypto is these centralized agencies holding too much power and too much weight. And yet his own Swan Bitcoin trusted in Prime Trust, a centralized company that they put too much weight and stock into. You just kind of see the circular problem here. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Crypto custody and Prime Trust is admitted to losing $8 million in customer and uh, corporate funds through the collapse of Terra. In June, Prime Trust went into receivership after losing access to a wallet hosted by a third-party account. Uh, financial, uh, the Nevada Financial Institutions Division also accused the company of using customer funds uh, to buy crypto companies. That's what they were doing, guys. They were making all these great investments, and it was all your money. They were double, triple, quadruple investing your money. And really, in the United States, we didn't really use FTX nearly as much as they did around the world. Um, so for that, you know, from that perspective, okay. People around the world were losing. Maybe it wasn't your money, but your money may have been in BlockFi. Your money may have been in FTX US. Delhi's connections in. Speaking of FTX, moving on here. Embattled crypto exchange FTX hires billionaire Mike Novogratz's Galaxy Digital to manage recovered crypto. Very interesting story here. Uh, Troll Crypto Exchange FTX is hiring a prominent crypto asset management firm to handle its recovered assets. New court filing, bankrupt crypto exchange is seeing authorizations for billionaire Mike Novogratz's Galaxy Digital to take over the management of its recovered virtual currencies as part of the restructuring process. Um, let's see here. And I think, you know, is Galaxy Digital a company you can trust? Well, it's coming to trust more than FTX, for sure. It's going to look out for its best interests, but part of Galaxy Digital's best interest is keeping people interested and involved in crypto. That's how they make their money. So from a big picture perspective, hopefully they see it and they get it. Um, in the micro though, could we see some bad bad things for the holders of FTX? Great question. I never held any money on FTX, as do you guys know.
and all that's going to come out. Of course, it's all true and accurate information here pretty soon. You have to know what I mean, probably a month or two down the road. Um, but uh, FTX recovered $7 billion worth of crypto assets. And the game for FTX was always waited out. It was always waited out. Let's hope Bitcoin goes back up. And when Bitcoin goes back up, we'll be able to solve everything. I think Sam bankman fried thought he was still going to be in control at that time. And he's no longer in control. CZ breaks silence here. Refused Binance's Bitcoin dumbing allegations to safeguard BNB. And we've been talking about this story for several days. And we've been telling you, I believe there was no merits to it. And this was just allegations and rumors by the same people that want to see Binance fail. They want to see a good actor fail. They're trying to put pressure to make it happen. And it just doesn't play out. And CZ always comes in eventually and tells you what the real deal is. So let's see what he said here. Uh, there was mounting speculation um, that CZ was uh, causing a Bitcoin sell-off. Um, he took to Twitter to respond, reposing a thread by a user named ZK Hopium. Of course, we've told you this the whole time. Um, the thread by ZK Hopium sheds light on the events surrounding Binance Coin's liquidation. Oops, excuse me. It explains the exploit occurred, the liquidation on BNS protocol. explains the exploit occurred on October 6th, 2022 on the Binance Smart Chain, uh, creating 2 million BNB. Of this amount, 900,000 BNB were deposited on BNS protocol to borrow approximately $150 million worth of USDT and USDC. In response, BNB chain burned 2 million um, BNB. Let's see. Addressing the allegations, CZ expressed his appreciation for the detailed research presented by ZK Hopium and emphasized the insignificance of a $30 million liquidation impact on Bitcoin's price. CZ stated that Binance does not issue BTC and the most rewards are given in BNB. He highlighted that the alleged fear of a significant Bitcoin price impact is unfounded as $30 million represents less than 0.001% of Bitcoin's daily trading volume. And I think that, you know, this is, it's so interesting because when you think about this, this is a lot of the narrative for this big Mac, this big altcoin bleed, this big dump that's coming for Bitcoin. Like it, Bitcoin's going to dump, altcoins are going to bleed off five times worse. And a lot of this is based on what's like, were we going to see a major liquidation event? And it's easy telling you, yeah, $30 million is not a major liquidation event. I mean, look at when we look, sometimes there's hundreds of millions of liquidations in a day and that can be impactful. $30 million liquidation, maybe not that bad. So he is saying here, I think he's saying that they did get liquidated. I, 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 I'm trying to read between the lines here because it looks like they may have gotten liquidated on that position, but they were not selling off in order to crop it up because they just didn't care. It was a $30 million, you know, $30 million to them is not that much, guys. Not that much at all. $30 million for Binance. Uh, and I know that's hard for people to understand, um, but I see it, you know, I see it in my, in my own life and my own financial change I've gone through in the last few years. Like, you know, things that people would think are absolutely ridiculous. Like I was supposed to go on a trip next weekend and we were going to go take my kids family trip. We we're going to take my kids uh, to, to New York city. We we're going to do some baseball games. We were going to take my daughter to the U S open. And in the end, like it just was my son ended up having a tournament on Sunday next week, a baseball tournament. We can't go. So what that means is that all this money we paid for all of these tickets. Now the hotels and stuff can be rebooked or rebunds, but to get the money back on the tickets, it's probably like $3,000 total. Like we would have to go and relist them on a third party side. And for $3,000, I would just rather burn it to go through all that because it's just, it, they're probably not going to sell anyways. Maybe we'll make a fraction of the money back. And it is what it is. Like it's a burn. Like I just burn it and it sucks. And you, people are like $3,000. It's a lot of money. I get it. I know, but it's not worth the effort to me for that. And I think this is what CZ is saying here is it wasn't worth the effort for $30 million. If it was a much higher amount, then yes, maybe. But all the people that are telling you that Bitcoin's going to crash and dump and all coins are going to bleed, they're the same people selling these lies to you about Binance being insolvent and, you know, Binance is the, really the one causing all the problems. It almost seems like they're redirecting the FUD and they're trying to make people scared for possibly a short squeeze that could be coming.